Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Today I am bringing you a video of pop star royalty Miss Sarah Geronimo performing a medley of her hits in their unified concert earlier this year. But before anything else, I would like to once again invite everyone to follow me on my Instagram account at Max underscore two. And if you are here for the very first time, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Tube. To those who wish to enjoy the entire video without any interruption, without my comments, please feel free to head to my description box and I'll put the original video link there. Cause as always, I will be pausing the video in between to give my honest observations and comments. Another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my comments. Okay, let's start. I know for a fact that these are just some of Sarah's biggest hits. But since I am not very updated with the latest music, the only one that I am familiar with is Ikot Ikot. But I presume that uh, this first song is Mysterio because that's the first title indicated in the description of the original video. <laughs> No shade to the backup singers. Really, I'm not trying to put them down or anything. But when Sarah's voice came in, you can really hear the huge difference in their voice qualities right away. There is a tenderness in her voice that sounds very, very lovely. And with that very distinct voice, you will know right there and then, it's Sarah. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but there is this change in mood right after uh, the first two verses. I heard and felt it in her voice since I cannot see her blurry face in that video. And also, uh, the way she delivered katiyakan and kaugnayan, I think that is just a very lovely way of stylizing it. And as usual, she is giving us a lot of character in her voice. That's one of her trademarks. Well, she's not just singing, she is expressing how confused she is. And she's doing it quite well because I can actually hear the frustration in her voice. Let's continue. Oh, oh, oh. 
What can I say? Except that she sounds great, her mid-range is strong and pleasant, and those runs, her vocal agility in those runs were also on point. Let's move on. Now, this song, I know, it's the iconic Ikot Ikot. I actually did a review of one of her live performances, uh, the acoustic version of Ikot Ikot. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out in my channel. I just love this song. Everything about it is perfect. The catchy melody, the power in her voice, um, her stable vibrato, and of course the way she moves, nothing to dislike. Just listen to the angst in her voice and the intensity of her delivery. She doesn't only look like a rock star, but she also sounds like one. So if you ask me, she shouldn't just be known as pop star royalty. Another title should be added to her name, rock star royalty. That was simply beautiful. From her chest voice hitting D5 and E5 to the sudden flip to her falsetto, adding a very nice color to that part of the song. Very unexpected, well, at least for me, but I'm loving it a lot. That was marvelous. Wow. Sustaining her E5 with so much power and stability, never losing the character in her voice. And of course, add to that, that beautiful run. And she did all that, all that in one breath. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Let's go back to the video. That's an F sharp five. A freaking F sharp five. Wow. Okay, wait. That's an F sharp five, then E5, then a C sharp five back to an E5, if I'm not mistaken. But it's pretty amazing, isn't it? And they say she's not a belter. But I think. A more suitable statement would be, she's not only a belter. She sure knows how to move. And that growl, I can listen to it over and over again. 
You know, uh, one of the things I like about her is she knows when to hold back. She doesn't growl excessively, nor does she belt for no reason at all. So when she does growl or belt, you understand perfectly what she is trying to convey. When she sings, she doesn't sing like this or like this. Instead, she sings like this. Which sounds a lot more interesting if you ask me. She really reminds me of Beyonce here. Her aura, the way she carries herself, very fierce, regal, but add to that her own brand of innocence and wholesomeness. I also love how her costumes always look so cool, at the same time, hot, but still very classy. By the way, Kilometro is another song that I am not familiar with. I believe this is my first time to listen to it, so let's get right to it. The only thing I do not like about this is the bass, which I think is too loud. Because of the bass, I cannot hear Sarah's voice clearly. Anyways, let's move on. When Sarah performs, she performs. The shy and humble Sarah transforms into a whole different person. But her likability never goes away. That's the nice thing about her. She doesn't come off uh, overconfident nor cocky. But if you think about it, she has every right to be. Let's face it. Whether you like her or not, she is the most successful artist of her generation here in the country. The song is actually very catchy and I'm liking it. But if you ask me, um, my favorite is still Ikot Ikot, followed by Kilometro, and then Mysterio. Although I love how she delivered Mysterio, for me, the melody itself um, is not as catchy as the other two songs. That's my personal opinion. Let's continue.
Again, very impressive phrasing. And she also hit an F5 in the word kilometro. I'm just not sure if you guys noticed that. And of course, she also did some C sharp fives and D sharp five. Very nice projection overall. Just look at that beautiful smile. The moment her performance ends, she just goes back to her real self and her sweetness just starts to overflow. One of the things she has that others don't is charisma. She just has it. Charisma is something you either have or you don't. It is not something that you can just acquire. It's not a skill. It's something innate. As I said in one of my previous videos, it is not easy to have a string of local hits when people nowadays generally prefer to listen to foreign music or foreign songs. But Sarah is one of the very few who has them and her musicality and her artistry shine in these original songs, which I believe the general public appreciates and enjoys. If you found this video enjoyable, please give it a huge thumbs up. At the same time, please feel free to share your thoughts down below at the comment section. But please remember to keep your comments respectful at all times. It is okay to agree or disagree with one another, but it is very important for us to respect each other's points of view. Let us spread love, not hate. On that note, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max. You. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, everyone. Till next time, bye!